First of all, could you please answer these questions? Um, how often do you go to live events? Live, uh, for example, live events. Live events. For example, concerts, uh, theater, sporting events, etc. Um, I don't like uh, live events uh, because I think it's boring for me. I like something um, extremely events, for example, some, some, uh, um, not only when I watch events, I like take part in events. Events, okay. Event, event. Uh, what was the last live event you went to? Uh, I don't know. Okay, my, you... my business was in university, something school event. Okay, can you describe one? Just maybe several years ago, but you can just take one and please describe it. Um, it was a Chinese event, so I don't know what it was about because I just come for five minutes and then I went. It was university events, but I don't know event. what is what the event, but, uh, but I don't know what it is, what it was. Okay. Uh, what are the best places to go for live entertainment in your nearest town city? I don't understand. What does it mean live entertainment? Uh, well, it means that you don't watch it on TV, but you really participate. It's not. Rec uh, it means that, um, for example, you you can you can listen to a singer at a stadium and not on not on TV, not on uh, inter on the internet. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe something club in Russia, sometimes they have uh, singers and uh, in cafe and restaurants they also have live music, in theater uh, um, we can watch some entertainers. Um, an artist, I don't know. Okay. Right. So, uh, we'll listen to three conversations. Uh, could you please match them to the events below? There is concert, a concert, a play, or a sporting event. And the second question is, are the people talking before, during, or after the event? And of course, while you're listening, you can take notes. Are you ready to listen? Uh, which events I need to match them? Uh, uh, we will okay, listen okay. to three dialogues, and these are the three events. Concert, play, and sporting event. Okay. I, I can't listen. Oh, sorry. I don't know why this is always happening, but... Seven point twelve. Can you hear it now? Uh, yes. Oof. One. Hi. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, it's half time. One all. Yeah, there's a really good crowd. The stadium's packed. No, no trouble. 
The Liverpool fans are making a bit of a noise, but nothing major. OK, I'll call you when it's over. With a bit of luck, we'll be in the semi-final in an hour's time. Two. So, tell me all about it. It was absolutely brilliant. We were in the second row, just near the stage, and when he was singing, I swear, a few times, he looked right at me. Did he sing Baby Baby? Of course! All the best songs. It was just an amazing performance. Were Sandy and Annette there? Yeah, we met for a drink in the interval. Gosh, you're so lucky you got tickets. Three. OK, I'm looking for tickets now. There's a matinee at three o'clock and then it's on again in the evening at eight. Let's go at eight if we can get seats. Well, there aren't any in the stalls, but there are two upstairs in the circle in the second row. OK, go for it. It's a small theatre anyway, so we should have a good view wherever we sit. OK. Right, we've got them. We can pick them up at the box office. OK, so the first dialogue, where was, uh, where was it happening? Uh, it was during uh, the event. Which? Uh, I think sporting event. Yes. yes, and most likely it was a football match. Okay, uh, then number two. And it was after event, event or event? Event. Event. And uh, it was um, a concert. Okay, and number three? Uh, it was before, and uh, it is a play. Okay, right. Um, so uh, now, uh, which speaker used uh, uses these words? Speaker one, speaker two, or speaker three? So have a quick look at the words. Let's just listen again, uh, and you'll tell me which speaker is using these words. Okay. What is matin? Matinee, uh, this means a morning show. Um, yes, a morning show. And what is um, circle? Stalls and circle, these are two parts of rows in the theater. So these are special places in the theater. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And box office, is it Casa? Yes, this is where you buy tickets. Okay. Okay, so let's listen and tell me which speaker uses this word. Speaker 1, speaker 2 or speaker 3? 7.12 1 Hi. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, it's half time. One all. Yeah, that's a really good crowd. The stadium's packed. No, no trouble. The Liverpool fans are making a bit of a noise, but nothing major. OK, I'll call you when it's over. With a bit of luck, we'll be in the semi-final in an hour's time. Two. So, tell me all about it. It was absolutely brilliant. We were in the second row just near the stage, and when he was singing, I swear, a few times, he looked right at me. Did he sing Baby Baby? Of course! All the best songs. It was just an amazing performance. Were Sandy and Annette there? Yeah, we met for a drink in the interval. Gosh, you're so lucky you got tickets. Three. OK, I'm looking for tickets now. There's a matinee at three o'clock and then it's on again in the evening at eight. Let's go at eight if we can get seats. Well, there aren't any in the stalls, but there are two upstairs in the circle in the second row. OK, go for it. It's a small theatre anyway, so we should have a good view wherever we sit. OK. Right, we've got them. 
we can pick them up at the box office. Okay. Uh, speak of one uh, crowd the half diamond stadium. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, speak uh, to stage uh, performance and interval. Interval. Okay. Yes, exactly. And number three stall circle martini box office. Okay. Right. Now, um, here are some words. Uh, please put them into the correct category. A sporting event, play, musical, or concert, or both? Um, a, a, arena. 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 Uh, it is both. Okay. Audience. It is both. Uh -huh. uh, certain, I don't know what is it. A curtain. This is something that you use to cover the stage. Um, uh, actually, um, it is... uh, yes, audience, this is not about sporting event because in sporting event you call them spectators. Okay. Yes, and uh, in theater or cinema you'll call them audience. Okay, and certain it is play musical concert. Curtain, curtain. Curtain and extra time this sporting event. Offense. It is sports. Uh, final, final whistle, whistle. It is sporting event. Open end, it is sporting event. Uh -huh. Plot, it is play musical concert program. Mm. I don't know pro program. Probably both. Okay. Uh, Rao. Uh, no, it, it here it's pronounced uh, row. You can pronounce it row, but it means that you have an argument to have a row. But when it's a row of seats, you pronounce it row. I don't know what is the row. Ряд. So a row of seats. It is, it is both. Okay. Then it is play musical concert. Um, score sporting event, spectator sporting event, tickets both. Okay, brilliant. So uh, now please uh, repeat these words. Seven point thirteen. Sporting event. Crowd. Please repeat. Um, crowd. Half time. Half time. Stadium. Stadium. Time. Time. Final whistle. Final whistle. Unt. Score. Uh, I didn't listen it. Okay, score. Score. Spectators. Spectators. Play. Play. Musical or concert. Interval. Interval. Matinee. Matinee. Performance. Performance. Stage. Stage. Stalls. Stalls. Circle. Circle. Audience. Audience. Curtain. Curtain. Plot. Plot. Scene. Scene. Both. Box office. 
Box office. Arena. Arena. Fans. Fans. Program. Program. Row. Row. Tickets. Tickets. Okay. So there are some things called homographs. So these are words that are um, spelled similarly, but they're pronounced differently. Okay. Uh, so let's look. Uh, let's look at these words. Just uh, um, or they maybe have different meanings. So uh, look at these words and let, uh, pay attention to their pronunciation and their meaning. Seven point fourteen. One. We went to a live concert last weekend. We live next to the concert hall. Two. We're massive fans of Ed Sheeran. The air conditioning has broken, so we've bought two electric fans. Three. We sat in the back row, so we couldn't hear very well. After the concert, we had a terrible row. Four. We had really good seats for the play. We were right next to the stage. My son is at a stage of life where all he's interested in is his phone. Okay, so you see, live concert, but we live. What's the difference? Our live concert, it is uh, with Java concert, Mashigam. Can you explain it in English? Um, went to a performance. I don't know how to explain it in English. Okay, so uh, a live concert means not a recorded concert, uh, and we live means this is uh, this is uh, our place of residence. Okay, so you can say we are massive fans and two electric fans. What's the difference? But why fans and fans pronunciation are is, si is similar? Well, th that's okay. So uh, th this is a homophone and a homograph at the same time. So uh, it's just the meaning is different, but the pronunciation is the same. It can be the same. Uh, so it's spelled the same, but the meaning is different. And then, uh, then it's called a homograph. But then it can the pronunciation can be the same, or if it's different, they are also called homophones. Okay, number A, it is people uh, who like Ed Sheeran. Okay, or support. And mm -hmm. number B, it is. Um, Straf? Um, no, electric fans. So if it's too hot in a uh, in a in some place, and uh, maybe air conditioner is too expensive or it's too broken, you use electric fans. It, it blows the wind for you. So when it's hot, it's not so difficult to bear it. I don't understand what means this fan, electric fan. Ventilator. So for example. Here in Bali, uh, at the gym where, where I go now, there is no air conditioner, but there are two electric fans, and they help a little, but not too much. Okay. Uh, we sat in the back um, row. Uh -huh. uh, it is um, it is a sitting place. 
Okay. And after the concept we had a terrible row, it is uh, argument. Okay, right. We had really good seats for the play, we were right next to the stage. A stage, this is um, play, so where uh, where situation take place. Okay, right, where, where the actors play. Yes, this is the place. Uh, uh, my song is it the stage. Uh, and, and this is uh, in his stage, uh, in his uh, years. Right, period of life, you can also say. Okay. Yes. Uh, good. So, now please match the pairs of meanings to the words from the list. Okay, so please do it yourself first and then we'll check. So both A and B should match to only one, one word. Okay, so uh, number one. Uh, it is close. Okay, so if it's verb, to, uh, the opposite of open, you pronounce it close with z at the end. And if it's synonym of near, you pronounce it close. So too close, but close. Okay, number two. Um, it is uh, second. Okay, right. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Number three. It is wind. Uh, okay. So uh, as a noun, air that moves quickly, that's wind. But the verb is to wind. Yes, to wind, wound, wound. So it's to wind. Okay, number four. Uh, it is minute. Okay, so um, if it means very small or tiny, uh, it's pronounced minute. And if it's uh, 60 seconds, then it, it's pronounced minute. Minute, but minute. And this, this word is very good for IELTS. It's an uncommon lexical item. Okay, number five. Um, it's beer. No, it's, it's never pronounced a beer. Beer, this is B double E R. It's an alcoholic drink or non alcoholic, depends on. It's just a drink. Um, so, and uh, here it's to bear. And animal is also bear. The same pronunciation. Okay, number six. Uh, it's lie. Okay, uh, let's, let's listen and check. Seven point fifteen. One. A. Close. B. Close. Two. A. Second. B. Second. Three. A. Wind. B. Wind. Four. A. Minute. B. Minute. Five. 
A. Bear. B. Bear. Six. A. Lie. B. Lie. Okay. So, uh, do you prefer going to see a concert or a sporting event live or watching it uh, on TV? Um, so, why? And try to think about uh, these aspects. I prefer watch on TV because uh, when you um, watch it in live, it's uncomfortable because of a lot of noise. And crowds of people can can um, annoy annoy me. Uh, and and watch it uh, in home on TV safety and more atmospheric. Uh, um, and also, if you go out, uh, the weather might be bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for the aforementioned reasons, you prefer watching it, uh, watching it on TV. Okay, so uh, we're going to listen to three people talking about a live e event that they went to, which they didn't enjoy. Please listen to the beginning of each story and answer the question, what event did each person go to and where did it take place? So these two questions. Are you ready to listen? Uh, yes. Seven point sixteen. One. Andy. A few years ago, I went to Wimbledon, the tennis championships, which take place in June in southwest London, and it's quite difficult to get tickets. But I was very lucky and got two tickets for the men's quarterfinal matches on the centre court, which are usually fantastically exciting with lots of big names. The tickets were very expensive, but I was really pleased because they were right in the front row. Two. Kathy. Once, when my daughter was about 14, our local theatre, the Playhouse in Oxford, put on a play called The Woman in Black. It's a classic ghost story, full of suspense and quite scary. It's been made into a film starring Daniel Radcliffe. You know, who played Harry Potter. Anyway, I decided to take my daughter and I got quite good seats in the stalls so she could see well. Three. Clive. I'd been a fan of Leonard Cohen since I was a teenager, but I'd never ever heard him sing live. But then, in I think about 2009, I read that he was going to do a world tour and that he was coming to Valencia in Spain where I lived. I was really excited and I thought, <laughs> but even though he's in his mid-70s, I'm finally going to get to hear him. And the concert was in September, in the velodrome in Valencia, so uh, in the open air. Okay, are you ready or do you need to listen again? I'm ready. Okay, please tell me about these three people. Speaker one speak about tennis tournier in London. Uh, ah, speaker tem two. Tennis championship, or if you want to say tournier, it will be tournament. Yes, tournament. Speaker two, um, this is performance in theater. Okay. Uh, number three, this. Uh, a concert in uh, in Spain, Valencia. Mm -hmm. Okay, brilliant. So um, now let, let's think of some possible reasons why each person in, in B might not have enjoyed the event. Okay. So uh, these these three people. So what could have what could have gone wrong? So the first mm -hmm. one, there was quarterfinal tennis match at the Wimbledon uh, Tennis Championships in London. W what could have happened? 
Asim Kweza was uh, rainy. Okay. Uh, and the number one speaker too might be it was so noisy, so uh, she can't uh, listen anything. Couldn't hear anything, okay. Couldn't, uh, yes. And speaker three um, uh, might be it was so, I don't know, noisy, also noisy. Okay, so let's listen and find out. So uh, please tell me what went wrong in each case. You can take notes while you're listening. Ready? Uh, yes. Seven point seventeen. One. Andy. And on the day, my partner and I, we got up and drove to Wimbledon. It took about two hours. And as we were driving, it started to rain. The weather forecast was for showers. And at that time, there was no roof on centre court. And the players couldn't play if it was raining. But we got there, parked the car and went in and found our seats and sat under our umbrella. Play was supposed to start at two and at 1.30 the rain stopped. Then at two the players came on and the atmosphere was brilliant. And then at 2.15 the rain started again. The match was stopped and the court was covered over. And that was all the tennis we saw all day. We just sat there for four hours, hoping to see some more. But in the end, we just went home, very cold and very disappointed. It was a very expensive 15 minutes. Two, Kathy. When we got there, we found our seats and sat down. The theatre wasn't full, but then, just before the play was going to start, the rows of seats in front of us suddenly filled up with a group of about 30 teenagers. They were obviously a school group, and they were a bit noisy, but I thought they'd settle down when the play started. So the curtain went up, and the audience went very quiet, and there was spooky music, and the tension started to grow. But then, Every time anything happened on stage, the teenage girls in front of us screamed, even though nothing was really happening yet. So then we couldn't hear what the actors were saying for a few minutes until they quietened down again. In fact, they carried on doing this all the way through the first half, and it totally ruined the atmosphere for absolutely everyone. Their teachers obviously said something to them during the interval, or maybe someone had complained but they weren't much better during the second half. It basically ruined the whole evening. Three, Clive. I went with a group of friends and when he came on stage and started singing, I was amazed at how great his voice still was. We were having a wonderful evening, but then when he was on his fourth song, one of his old classics called Bird on the Wire, he suddenly collapsed on the stage. The other musicians all rushed up to help him and carried him off. We waited there, hoping that he was okay and that the concert would continue, but after almost an hour, there was no announcement. <laughs> Nothing. And we thought maybe he died. Finally, someone came on and said that he'd been taken to hospital, and so the concert wouldn't continue. And we went home, terribly disappointed. I'd waited all my life to hear him sing live, and we just got three and a half songs. Luckily, he recovered and went on with his tour, but he never came back to Valencia. And then he died in 2016, so I never got to hear him live again. Okay, so what happened, what went wrong in this story? Uh, in the first turn station, it was uh, uh, rain when uh, they was driving to a uh, tournament uh, 
uh, and uh, but they came and uh, there was play um, for some minutes and then it stopped because rain uh, 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 rain start again started again and they waited for four hours and then they went the call and they was disappointed. Uh-huh. Number two, there was a pleasure of teenager who was really noisy. That's why these women uh, didn't enjoy the performance. Uh-huh. Uh, number three, um, Sinka was uh, for fallen down and hurted and uh, he couldn't continue his uh, thinking uh, so and he went to the hospital and uh, they just uh, c- could uh, listen could hear his three songs uh, and and uh, it's finished Okay, so now please listen to these three stories again, and you need to tick a question in the case of life. And there are five questions. Please have a look at the questions, and then we'll listen again. Okay. Ready? I am. Seven point eighteen. One. Andy. A few years ago, I went to Wimbledon, the tennis championships, which take place in June in southwest London, and it's quite difficult to get tickets. But I was very lucky and got two tickets for the men's quarter-final matches on Centre Court, which are usually fantastically exciting with lots of big names. The tickets were very expensive, but I was really pleased because they were right in the front row. And on the day, my partner and I, we got up and drove to Wimbledon. It took about two hours. And as we were driving, it started to rain. The weather forecast was for showers. And at that time, there was no roof on Centre Court and the players couldn't play if it was raining. But we got there, parked the car, and went in, and found our seats, and sat under our umbrella. Play was supposed to start at 2, and at 1.30 the rain stopped. Then at 2 the players came on, and the atmosphere was brilliant. And then at 2.15 the rain started again. The match was stopped, and the court was covered over. That was all the tennis we saw all day. We just sat there for four hours, hoping to see some more. But in the end, we just went home, very cold and very disappointed. It was a very expensive 15 minutes. Two, Kathy. Once, when my daughter was about 14, our local theatre, the Playhouse in Oxford, put on a play called The Woman in Black. It's a classic ghost story, full of suspense and quite scary. It's been made into a film starring Daniel Radcliffe, you know, who played Harry Potter. Anyway, I decided to take my daughter and I got quite good seats in the stalls so she could see well. When we got there, we found our seats and sat down. The theatre wasn't full, but then, just before the play was going to start, The rows of seats in front of us suddenly filled up with a group of about 30 teenagers. They were obviously a school group and they were a bit noisy, but I thought they'd settle down when the play started. So the curtain went up and the audience went very quiet and there was spooky music and the tension started to grow. But then 
Every time anything happened on stage, the teenage girls in front of us screamed, even though nothing was really happening yet. So then we couldn't hear what the actors were saying for a few minutes until they quietened down again. In fact, they carried on doing this all the way through the first half, and it totally ruined the atmosphere for absolutely everyone. Their teachers obviously said something to them during the interval, or maybe someone had complained, but they weren't much better during the second half. It basically ruined the whole evening. Three, Clive. I'd been a fan of Leonard Cohen since I was a teenager, but I'd never ever heard him sing live. But then, in, I think about 2009, I read that he was going to do a world tour and that he was coming to Valencia in Spain where I lived. I was really excited and I thought, <laughs> but even though he's in his mid-70s, I'm finally going to get to hear him. The concert was in September in the velodrome in Valencia, so uh, in the open air. I went with a group of friends and when he came on stage and started singing, <laughs> I was amazed at how great his voice still was. We were having a wonderful evening, but then, when he was on his fourth song, one of his old classics called Bird on the Wire, he suddenly collapsed on the stage. The other musicians all rushed up to help him and carried him off. We waited there, hoping that he was okay and that the concert would continue, but after almost an hour, there was no announcement. <laughs> Nothing. And we thought maybe he died. Finally, someone came on and said that he'd been taken to hospital, and so the concert wouldn't continue. And we went home terribly disappointed. I'd waited all my life to hear him sing live, and we just got three and a half songs. <laughs> Luckily, he recovered and went on with his tour, but he never came back to Valencia. And then he died in 2016, so I never got to hear him live again. Okay. And number one it is Clive. And? Um, just Clive. And Casey. There are two, there are two people in each uh, question. Okay, I thought it's one. Do you need to listen again? No, I think I okay. can guess. Had, had to right. see it's, it is empty. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, speaker. Mm. Speaker two. Yes, Cassie. So MD is one, Cassie is two, and Clive is three. I uh, went to an outdoor event. It is uh, Clive and Andy. Right. Went with a family member. Uh, it is Cassie and Andy. Uh -huh. And waited for a long time for something to happen. Uh, it is Andy and uh, Clive. Okay, uh, which of the three experiences do you think was the most frustrating and why? What is frustrating? It makes you disappointed, it makes you unhappy. Okay, I think um, Clive, because uh, he was waiting for it all his life, and then this thing died, and he uh, wouldn't be able to go again. Okay, so uh, now it will be uh, like uh, speaking part two in IELTS. Uh, please uh, speak about a live event, event you went to, maybe a concert, a play, a sporting event, or something else. And there are some prompts that can help you. Uh, first of all, can you please read the prompts? What is this prompts? Prompts. These are things to help you. Uh, what the okay. event? What the event was? Please read this. What event was when and where it took place? Uh, who you went with? How you got the tickets? 
you'll see it's, uh, the performance homage, whether you enjoyed it or not and why. If it was worth the money, what you did afterwards. Okay. It doesn't mean afterwards. Afterwards means after this. Ah, uh, afterwards, okay. Okay, so I will uh, make uh, give you this slide. You have uh, about one minute to prepare, you can take notes. Uh, and then please be ready to speak. So, um, here are the prompts. Okay. Um, it was a performance uh, of some comedian groups, uh, Russian comedian groups. Uh, it was in my um, town, uh, uh, in the theater. I went with uh, my friend. Um, and we buy the tickets uh, in the internet. Uh, our seats was uh, yeah. in front, were in the first uh, first uh, row in front of um, performance. Um, and it was some comedian performance uh, just for fun. I can't say I enjoyed it. Uh, because I think uh, in the, when you saw it, see it in the TV, it's more interesting because they can uh, re redact it. But when it's in the life, they can't uh, redact it. It sometimes jokes was uh, wasn't uh, ha wasn't funny. Um, I think it wasn't worth uh, the money. Mm. And uh, after that, uh, we uh, we were, we went to the restaurant uh, with a good uh, mood. Okay. Uh, so. mm -hmm. All right. So, if you wish to practice your writing skills as homework, you can also write a description of the event that maybe you talked about now or another event. So, here is a reminder for you. Okay, now uh, verb patterns. You know, sometimes uh, after the verb you use infinitive, after sometimes you use uh, gerund, sometimes infinitive with to, sometimes without to, and different verbs uh, have different patterns. Uh, can you try to complete the sentences uh, with the correct form uh, of the verbs in brackets? Right here. Um, if a friend asked me... going to a no, classical no, music... Ask, ask me to do something. Ask me to go to a classical music concert. I think I would uh, to say no. I would say without to. I would say no. What would you do if you had a million dollars? If I had a million dollars, I would buy. There is no to. I would but buy. But you say I would to like. No, I would like to do something. Ah yes. Okay. Um. I love watching films in uh, 3D. They are much better than ordinary ones. Uh, my parents didn't used to let me to stay out. After uh, after let, there is no to. Stay out late during the week when I was young. They yes. wanted me... Mm, Oh, 
miss to spend me evenings studying. Yes, they wanted me to spend my evenings studying, right? I hate going to clubs. I don't like um, being in places where there are lots of people and noise. Okay. I never feel like uh, um, go out on New Year's Eve. Uh, I'll to feel like it's doing something. Going out on New Year's Eve, I prefer staying in. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's listen again to these sentences. Seven point nineteen. One. If a friend asked me to go to a classical music concert, I think I'd say no. Two. I love watching films in 3D. They're much better than ordinary ones. Three. My parents didn't used to let me stay out late during the week when I was young. They wanted me to spend my evening studying. Four. I hate going to clubs. I don't like being in places where there are lots of people and noise. Five. I never feel like going out on New Year's Eve. I prefer staying in. Okay. So, uh, let's listen to different, uh, read and listen, uh, different uh, verb patterns. Uh, verb plus infinitive. Seven point twenty. One. Mandy agreed to come with me. They decided to go home early. We wanted to visit the Tate Gallery. Two. We can't buy the tickets till tomorrow. There's a lot of traffic. We might be a bit late. You shouldn't drink so much coffee. Okay, next. 7.21 1. They enjoy watching films at home. I finished reading the paper if you want it. 2. She's given up working on Saturdays. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Are you going to carry on studying English next year? Okay, so next one. Seven point twenty two. One. They want us to go on holiday with them. Liam told me not to tell anyone his news. My parents don't allow me to wear makeup. Two. His parents let him go to the concert. Our boss makes us work late on Fridays. Okay, uh, please try to complete. Do you have any questions? I don't have questions, but uh, okay. I don't understand this. Can you just memorize yours, right? Yeah, so it just comes with practice. Uh, th there is a list of verbs which are followed by gerund, uh, verbs which are followed by infinitive, uh, sometimes infinitive without two, in some cases, there is a difference in meaning, such as I, re uh, I remember, I need to remember to do my homework. I remember going to the Philippines last year. That's different, different meaning. But uh, it, it's just a matter of practice and just, yes, mem memorizing it through practice. 
Okay, uh, we went to the box office to pick up the tickets. Yes, right. Um, going to a live sporting event, event is much event. more exciting. Event are much more exciting than watching it on TV. Okay. I had to uh, hate don't be able. Not being able. Not being able to visit my family more often, but they live so far away. Okay. I tried to, to buy tickets for the concert, but I didn't manage uh, to get any. Get okay. any. To get. Didn't manage to, to, to get. get any. Get any. Nowadays, it's cheaper to go to the theater than to a football match. Okay. Uh, she moved from London to a small village, and she really miss, uh, misses uh, going to plays and exhibitions. Okay. They told me. Um, don't sit in the front uh, row. Uh, this, they told me then that there is a uh, colon and quotation marks. But we need a reported speech, not direct speech. Not we, to sit in the front row? Yes, they told me not to sit in the front row, right. Uh, we need them to, to hurry. Uh, Amy is always no. late. If you say we don't need, you can say we don't need to hurry. But if it's needn't, there is no to. We needn't hurry. Uh -huh. Okay, I can't afford to uh, live in the center city, in to the live. city center. I can't afford to live, I can't afford to buy. Okay. Uh, now it is difficult. Imagine not to have a mobile phone. Don't have a mobile phone. Okay, it's difficult. The uh, difficult is an adjective, so it's it's easy to remember. It's difficult to imagine. It's to uh, and then to imagine something or doing something. To imagine not having. So can you repeat the sentence? No, it's difficult to imagine not having to a imagine. mobile phone. Now to imagine. To imagine not having a mobile phone. Okay, now in exercise B, can you complete the second sentence so that it means the same as the first? They asked me to go to the cinema and I agreed. They persuaded to uh, go to the cinema. Okay, they persuaded me to go to the cinema. Okay. They persuaded me to go to the cinema. He said he wouldn't help her. He refused to, to help her. Right. Current teacher allowed her to leave school early. Current teacher let her to leave school early. After left leave the school. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. My husband said uh, you should uh, go to the dentist. My husband wants me to go to the dentist. Okay. The police ordered him to move his car. The police made him move his car. Okay. I practice. I practice. Uh, uh, the piano for 20 minutes a day. I spent 20 minutes a day playing the piano. Uh, uh, playing or practicing? Practicing the piano. Okay. They, uh, asked, mm -hmm. uh, they asked if you wanted to have dinner with them. They invited us uh, to have dinner with them. Okay. Uh, we don't go to concerts anymore. We have given up going concerts. 
going to concerts. Going to concerts. Okay, uh, so uh, please complete these sentences so that they're true about you. I would like to be able to afford uh, uh, to buy uh, a big house. Okay. Uh, at weekends I often spend a long time uh, studying English sometimes. Uh, when I was young, my parents made me uh, not to cry when we go, we was going to the uh, hospital. Made me not cry. After make some make somebody do something, uh, there is no two. Only in the passive voice, I was made not to do something. You say two. Um, but what is the right? My parents made me... Not cry. Uh, so they made yes. me do something or they made me not do something. Okay. I don't really like housework, but I don't mind uh, tidying my room. Okay. When I leave uh, the house in the morning, uh, I sometimes forget... Uh, uh, forget um, um, to, to turn off uh, lights. Uh, it's better to say the light, to turn off the light. Okay. Um, when I'm away from home, I really miss uh, um, a dishes which uh, my mom cooked. Okay. Uh, next summer, I'm planning to go to Australia. Okay. When I'm with friends, uh, I really enjoy um, uh, speaking with them. Okay. So, Let's try to match uh, these five games uh, to the type of games that they are. Um, I don't know this game, just know poker and Sudoku. Okay, well, what type of games are they? Okay, uh, um, poker it is a card game. Okay. And Sudoku, it is board game. Okay. Maybe da <laughs> Dangerous Dragons, maybe it is video game. No, it's a role playing game. Okay. So Candy Crush, it is video game. Yes. Uh, so um, then Scra uh, Sudoku, it's a b brain training game, as they want you to answer. And uh, Scrabble is a board game. Okay, uh, oh, the, we'll, we can also listen and check. Seven point twenty three Candy Crush is a video game where you have to move pieces to make a row or column of at least three matching pieces. Dungeons and Dragons is a role-playing game in which you control a single character and have adventures by interacting with other players' characters. Poker is a card game where you bet on the values of the cards people hold in their hand. Scrabble is a board game in which you have to score points by putting letters onto a board to make words. Sudoku is a brain training game where you have to complete a grid of 81 squares with the numbers 1 to 9. Okay, so uh, we're going to read a text 
the first part of an article about board games and please be ready to answer two questions. What is unusual about the Thursday Meeples Cafe and where does its uh, name come from? Okay, so here's the... I'm ready right there. Okay. Please answer. Uh, it is unusual because uh, when you visit uh, this place, uh, they have a pleasure of uh, kind uh, of uh, games. And its name comes from com combination of meeples, the pieces that board games play these. Mm -hmm. Gamers by this. Okay. Now uh, you can look at the text again if necessary. Please look at the photos uh, and in which of the games uh, do uh, players have to do these things? One, two, three, four, five. Please match them first and then when you're ready, we'll check.
and retail. Okay. So let's check. Um, try to get an important job with this um, citadels. Okay. Um, number two, uh, it is ticket to ride. Okay. Uh, number three, it is um, forbidden desert. No. Number three, this is a small world. But why this say find other, find others, find others does mean find all the pieces of the flying ship. Mm -hmm. What does it mean fight? Find, mighty. It's not find, it's fight. Ah, okay, okay, I thought it's find, okay. And number four, the social goal. Mm -hmm. And number five, it is forbidden desserts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, uh, please uh, read the second part of an article and say what are the three main reasons why board games have become so popular?
I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, first reason that uh, now uh, games and players are very different from 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And the reason to it is uh, there are far more women playing games. Mm -hmm. And uh, reason three factors have made playing games such a normal thing for others to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So, uh, please look at the second part again. And... Uh, Try to think uh, about what these words mean. So have a quick look. You have the number of the line. And when you're ready, we'll discuss the meanings of the words. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, so let's discuss. Uh, sorry, we need to Sorry. Or fantastic. Yes, it means that it is uh, this cafe is doing well, or this club is doing well. I'm not half translated in Russian. Процветает. Um young professional couples uh, this I, I didn't understand this is uh, car professional like different from others well it means couples uh, where both people work and have a profession for example doctors lawyers and so on IT specialists arises and going out to the pub instead of going out to the pub okay much wider appeal uh, it is a uh, huge influence it's a uh, okay it means more different kinds of people like them so if it finds appeal it means people like them so appeal is a um, it's it's an advanced word for like okay one of the biggest factors one of the biggest reasons uh, okay. Not just starting at screen, not just watching at screen. Oh, staring, yes. Just looking at phones, tablets, and so on. Okay. In the real world, uh, uh, just in in a 
in a live, not in the internet, offline. Okay, so not in virtual reality. Uh, which games in the article would you most like to try, and can you suggest any other good games? For example, would you try? Would you like to try this game, Pandemic? <laughs> We're all playing it now. Um, I I'm keen on Monopoly game. Monopoly. Monopoly game, but I think I I like board board and game because when I was a child, I can. I I can play it a lot of my time because I I also prefer um, this um, playing it with my parents rather playing uh, on the computer. Okay, right. So, what do you like doing with friends in your free time? Um, I um, usually. We go to the restaurant, we have hookah and just smoke hookah um, and uh, eat delicious food. Sometimes, no, sometimes, but I think hardly ever we go to the theater or cinema. Um, and sometimes we, I can visit my friends and he can come to me uh, in my home. Okay. So, um, wh which of these things do you do or do not do? So, if you go out and if you stay in, can you look at these options and just uh, talk about them a little bit? If you go out, going to see the latest film at the cinema, uh, when I want to see the latest film at the cinema, there are no people who want to go with me because when I go to the cinema and uh, I usually watch 20 minutes and then I go away because I I usually didn't like the films and I can't, for example, uh, my friends, if they didn't like films, they can continue watch, but I can't do it so I just um, go go back home. Mm -hmm. um, going to a concert, play a show. Mm. When I go to a concert, play or show, um, I don't like all that go in this place because they are very dirty, a lot of people, crowds, noisy. I didn't like such and uh, sometimes I go to the club uh, um, if if in reason have some popular singer, but I also take VIP because I don't like sitting with other people uh, too close. Um, Oh, I have already talked about going to a club. Okay. Um, eating at a favorite restaurant. Um, when I eat in at a favorite restaurant, I usually prefer it at home, just to book uh, food because uh, in reason um, I have been in all restaurants already. Uh, so if I travel or go other cities or some uh, or if this some uh, how to say Prasnik? celebration or holiday ce ce celebration I can go out uh, in restaurant but usually I book some food to, to my home mm -hmm. uh, watching a live sports event um, I have n never watched a sports live event because I didn't like it, and uh, but I I will I would like uh, to go Norwegia and uh, watch live sports uh, skiing in Norwegia. No. Um, Norway. 
I'm chatting in a cafe or bar. Um, I always chat in a cafe or bar with my friends. Uh, um, but they sometimes uh, uh, you um, starting on a, on a screen. And I think I didn't like it. I have never started at screen when I with my friends and and coffee or bar. Or bar. Okay. Mm, if you stay in watch watching a film or box set together, um, um, some I watch a film in English and sometimes in Chinese. If I stay watching film with my friends, uh, they didn't like watching in English. They prefer watching some Russian comedy, but I, I hate Russian movie. Mm -hmm. um, getting a takeaway. I don't know what does it mean if you stay in getting a takeaway. In getting a takeaway. So if you stay in, if you stay at home and you order some food, uh, or uh, uh, you, you take some food away from a cafe and you get, you get this, you eat this food, that is takeaway. Ah uh, yes, I every day getting takeaway. Um, I forget what I need to say. What's the question? <laughs> So, uh, uh, I, mm -hmm. uh, what do you like doing with friends in your free time? Okay, um, I I don't like getting a takeaway with my friends because I prefer if we go out to the, rest, to the restaurant, listening to music and chatting. Um, I like chatting with my friends. Uh, when I stay in, but uh, we have never listened to music. Mm -hmm. uh, playing board games or video games. Uh, uh, sometimes we play board games like Monopoly or Mafia or some cards games. Uh, cooking and having a meal together. Uh, some, when my friends come to me, they always cook for me because they know I can't cook and if I will cook, uh, uh, I think they will have illness. Uh, watching sport on TV. We have never watched sport on TV because I'm not interested in sport. Uh -huh. It's all. Okay. So think about the last time you spent an evening with friends. What did you do? Uh, we went to the restaurant and smoked in hookah uh, as usually, and uh, chatting, joking. Okay, uh, chatting and joking. This is not a verb. It's participle. Now, can you make a sentence with present simple, past simple, with some tense? Because joking is it's not a, it's not speaking it's just uh, it's just a word. You can say for example we were uh, smoking hookah, but you cannot say smoking hookah. It's it's called butchered yes. English. We were chatting. We were chatting and smoking hookah. Okay. Yes. Uh, right. So th this way it would it would sound uh, grammatically correct. Of course, in real life you'd be understood if you say it like this. Uh, in fast speech, you can even say that probably, uh, but at an exam, that's that's unacceptable. Okay, so uh, grammar activity. Okay, so uh, could you please complete the text with the correct form of the verbs in brackets? 
Uh, my wife and I both love going to the theater last month for our anniversary. Our son booked tickets for us to see the musician Wicked. It was a martini, so we decided to have, a lu- to have lunch in a restaurant before the show. When we arrived at the theater after lunch, we were surprised to see, right? Yes. To see how quiet it was, so we checked the, our tickets and suddenly realized why. The start time was 2 p.m. and it was already 2.15 p.m. Mm, we were sure it started at 2.30 p.m. We couldn't believe we would be so stu- we had been so stupid. The attendant refused to uh, let let us in. To. Now refuse to, to let, let us in. You don't use to after let, but before if it's after refuse, then you use it. Can okay, refuse to let us in, so we had to wait until the interval and miss the wall of the first half. The whole, the whole of the first half. Okay. Uh, my boyfriend Sam and I usually took look forward to going out with friends on Saturday evenings. Uh, last Saturday, however, we were both really tired, so we stayed in. We didn't feel like Um, watching TV. Yes, feel like doing something. Feel like something or feel like doing. You can say, I feel like a walk or I feel like going for a walk. Feel like watching. Okay. Uh, so Sam suggested a game of Scrabble. Generally, I'm not very keen on playing boards games, uh, but I enjoy Scrabble. Uh, that might be because I usually win. With this game, however, Sam managed uh, managed to get uh-huh. yes to get high scores uh, for most of his words, while my scores were really low, low, low or low, low, low. low. In the end, I lost the game by over one hundred points. I really hate. Uh, not winning. Okay. Uh, so I spend the rest of the evening in a bad mood. Okay. Complete the text with the correct form of the verbs in the lists. I am a huge fan of Adele, so when she came to uh, Eklund uh, a few years ago, I really didn't want to miss uh, uh, miss uh, seeing her perform? Uh, her perform. Or going her perform? Miss, I think miss seeing. I didn't want to, to miss her, propustit. I didn't want to miss seeing her perform. Okay, seeing her perform. I was still at school at the time and it finished quite late, but likely my dad let me uh, go with a friend. Mm-hmm. Okay. The concert was at Mountain Smart Stadium. This is uh, open air, and one, and on the night of the performance, the weather was awful. It started uh, 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 to rain really heavily. Uh, usually, say it started raining. It started raining really heavily, but I didn't mind. Uh, Getting wet. Um, yes, but you you can say to rain also. Uh, just usually, the, as you say, started raining. But started to rain grammatically, it's also correct. Okay, but I didn't mind getting wet, as it was just such an amazing experience. Okay, good. I so, will. Mm-hmm. Okay, I will always remember the 2018 football World Cup. Uh, people didn't expect England. Uh, uh, didn't expect England 
Mm. Doing very well. No, expect somebody to do something. To do very well. Okay. Uh, but the team amazed everyone uh, by getting through to the semi-final. Okay. The match was against uh, Croatia. Croatia. And kick Croatia and kickoff was at um, 7 p.m. My okay. friends persuaded me uh, the evening. Um, Взять выходной от гул вечером. And we went to the local pub together uh, watching the game to watch the game. Yes, to watch the game. Mm. Uh, we told ourselves uh, uh, not to be too disappointed mm -hmm. if England didn't win. But when they ended up um, lost to one. No, end up doing something. When they ended up losing. Losing, losing, losing to one. Mm -hmm. Uh, we were still absolutely heartbroken. Yes, and if you say uh, we ended up doing something uh, at, in, in your speaking test in IELTS, this is music to examiner's ears. If you hear something what like... What does mean ended up? Of okay. В конце концов, оказалось, что кто-то что-то сделал. So in Russian, we don't have this expression. For example, you can say uh, we came to a cafe and we ended up smoking hookah. И в конце концов мы там стали курить кальян. So, or, or uh, we agreed with my friends that we wouldn't talk about university, but we ended up talking about our university exams. И в конце концов оказалось, что мы стали говорить об этом. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, so let's look. Okay, so uh, please uh, speak for 30 seconds. You, you can speak for more if you if you wish uh, on the following topics. At time you did something uh, that someone told you not to do. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, when I was a child, when I was a teenager, my mom uh, told me not to smoke hookah at home because uh, she has uh, uh, allergic. From she it. was allergic. She was allergic from it. To it. Uh, to it. Uh, uh, but when uh, she was uh, at work, I always uh, uh, were, were smoking, was smoking hookah. Mm -hmm. um, and did, did she notice this? Oh uh, yes, of course, because she can, because hookah have a smell. But I, yes. then I told her that uh, my, my throat, uh, gorla throat. Yes. Hard, and I need to. Uh, Smoke, smoke hookah because uh, it helped my throat because it's like uh, um, yes, like medicine and then no nicotine in tobacco. Okay, is, is it true or you just made it up? No, I just let I just told her this is the good things for health. Okay. 
a cafe you love uh, going to. Mm -hmm. I really love going to Chinese restaurant, uh, but in China, because in Russia, it's uh, on food and uh, isn't delicious. Um, but in China, um, I love one cafe uh, the most. It is, uh, it is um, a Korean. Korean cafe and they like um, Korean barbecue when and it is interesting that they give you meat and some vegetables and you need cook it uh, uh, by yourself and it's really very very interesting when you cook the uh, themselves. Mm -hmm. um, something you shouldn't. Uh, talk about with your colleagues. Um, I, I shouldn't uh, talk with my classmates in China about my personal life, but uh, Chinese people are very strange and they always ask me strange uh, questions. Uh, so I think it's because different culture or they are very interesting in foreigners. Okay. Um, a place your parents made your you. A place your parents made you. Uh, visit. Mm -hmm. Made you visit, right? My parents always made you visit my grandparents, but I didn't like go to them because uh, when them because it's so boring, and we have a different uh, view of, on life, and we always uh, have a lot of row. Rows. And eat uh, each other throats every day. Um, a kind of food you really enjoy eating? Mm -hmm. um, I think I really enjoy a lot of types of food. Uh, um, for example, hot pot um, and uh, Korean barbecue. Mm, and uh, and sushi and some some thing like that. Uh, something you do to relax. Um, mm, I taking baths for relaxing or sleep or, or just sometimes I read uh, the news. Mm -hmm. uh, a job around the house you have finished. Uh, uh, you have finished doing recently. Doing yes. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I have finished. Uh, I have finished uh, doing. Ah, uh, my broke my. My washing machine was broken, and uh, I and uh, I did it recently. A person you know who is very good at uh, telling jokes. Oh, it my friends. Uh, Boyfriend, she's ve uh, he's very funny and uh, she's really good at uh, it. Uh, I think everybody needs uh, needs to watch. Um, I know one film. This film about sugar and fat. This is about uh, that a lot of people. Uh, buy low fat products but it is uh, 
but it is worse than buy um, products with sugar because this low for uh, low fat products uh, mm, they is made by some cancerogens and it is bad for health that I think everyone needs to watch this documentary about mm. it. Okay. Uh, something a family member has persuaded you to do. Make me to do persuaded, what does it mean? Persuade, it's, uh, they speak to you and then you agree, yes, it's a good idea. To persuade, that's what uh, my mom persuaded me uh, to go to the foreign languages uh, department, but I don't think it is a good idea. And what did you want to do yourself? I want to study IT, but when I was uh, at nature, I and uh, I don't want to go for any language, I want to do um, IT or counting, something like that. I also want to go to um, other university, like my brother. Mm -hmm. This is I've got so many other university. Um, I think it's a aerospace university or just uh, aviation university. Okay. When I lived in, in the Philippines near my house, there was it was called an airspace university, but it, it doesn't have to be space, so it can be just an aviation university. Okay. Uh, something you can't imagine to live without. Uh, imagine living without. Living without. I can't live in without uh, my phone. Uh, well, I can't I imagine. Can't live, I can't live without my phone and Chinese food. Hmm. Um, a person you're looking forward to seeing soon. I'm looking forward to seeing my classmates in England because some of them I have already know. We we. Uh, met in, in the website, uh, this uh, company website, English Choice websites. Uh, a TV program you refuse uh, watching? To watch. To watch. TV program refuse at casa, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I refuse to watch a horror movie uh, because I can't sleep after that, that I feel very nervous. Uh -huh. um, an activity you really miss doing. Um, I really miss doing yoga and going gym. I to always gym. want to the gym. I always want to go with gym with my friend to the gym with my friend, but uh, uh, but I need go to the uh, I need go to England, so I don't know when I go. I afraid if I now yeah, I buy abonnement uh, and then I will membership. So, so it's yeah. seasonal ticket or here it's called in uh, the gym is called membership. Membership and I will go. I will go England soon. To England. But I, yeah, but I think when I feel in England, I will, I will go. When I in when I come England, I will go to the gym or yoga, something like that. Do you know if gyms are open right now in England? Because their epidemic situation, their pandemic situation uh, is not very good. But uh, I heard that in my residence uh, they have a big uh, gym class in okay. my dormitory. All right. Well, hopefully it will be uh, open because who knows? Uh, all right. And, and uh, also hopefully it will work because, for example, here in Bali, uh, in some hotels, there are gyms. There is a gym in my hotel too. 
but you never use it because almost everything is broken in this hotel. And no, I I see, and it is better than in the best chimney reason. Okay, okay. It's really very very good, and they also have a swimming pool, and I I like swimming. Mm -hmm. mm, and I think it's will it's will work because they are. They are only foreign students and not uh, a plethora of people. Okay. Uh, something you have always wanted uh, having to have to have. Yes. Mm. Um, I want to have a lot of uh, money in the future. Uh -huh. um, Can you explain why? As, um, because I want to be independent from my parents. Okay. Uh, a sport you hate watching? Mm, uh, uh, it is basketball because it's boring mm -hmm. and there are no beautiful, not, no hands, handsome men, always a lot of African and black. What about Sima? He plays basketball uh, too. Uh, but uh, he plays, but I, I didn't like it. When he go to the basketball, I go to the yoga or gym or painting. Okay. Um, an activity you started uh, doing years ago? Um, years ago, this means a lot of years yes, ago. Yes, many years ago, right? I can't say it because when I start new activity, I do it for one year and then um, broke up it. No, uh, gave it up. Give it up. Um, I did a lot of uh, activity uh, and I just changed it, but uh, Right now I start uh, painting and I like it. I, I think I will never give it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, a drink you agree trying and hated. Drink agree to agree. try. To try and hated. It. it is a much uh, coffee or tea. I don't know something green tea. It's awful, but my friends like. A person you can always talk always to talk to with it is it is my mom with whom I can always talk uh, mm. something you promised to but never did I promised uh, promised promise that don't uh, eat a lot of uh, sugar sugar no, and uh, yes I, pr I promise to, to do I promise not to eat I promise not to eat uh, fast food and uh, sugar and products included in sugars. And did you keep your promise or did you break it? Uh, no, of course no. Okay. I, I never did it. Okay. Uh, right. So, do you have any questions for me? I don't have questions. So, please, for the next time, uh, do your workbook 7B. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, okay. uh, in which time? 